What's up, everybody? Happy Thursday. It's your boy, Booker with Trent, back on the Morning Yap Show in the comfort of my beautiful backyard. Hope, one, hope everyone's having a great week. Uh, big week starting today. We got the Masters on. I got my fit on from, where did I get this at? Goddamn oh fucking uh, Waste Management Open from like last year. Uh, it's a great day to be a golf fan. We got the Masters and shit. I respectfully have zero idea how to bet on the Masters, but I do have three winners uh, that I put coin on to win the whole thing. Um, but in terms of betting day by day, I'm really just gonna stick with the prize picks. Um, but let's recap yesterday real quick. Yesterday, another winning day, boys. I don't know what it is about these morning yaps, but I've been pretty sharp. I've been uh, killing it on the books. We're up four units yesterday. That's like 15 U's on the week so far. No, it's like 12, 12 U's. Uh, but the Rangers run line, again, shit's chalked in baseball. Go right back to it the next day. Rangers win by five, cover the run line. Am I an NBA sharp or what, boys? Yesterday I gave you guys Suns minus four and a half around the same time. That line closed at 11 and a half. Obviously the Clippers sat like everybody on the team, but uh, WCLV. That's about as WCLV as you're going to see as a sports gambler. Let's fucking go. And the Nuggets minus six and a half, another 2 and 0 night on the NBA. Uh, the Reds money line was so forced and so caked. Uh, and the Dodgers during the day, please, if you ever see me bet on them during the day, they never win, let alone cover, but they never win. It's just a completely different team during the day. I don't know what it is. Uh, I went on Slop Show yesterday from Twitter. Um, and I went 3-0, and but no one's going to talk about that. No one's going to talk about that shit. Uh, but yeah, to be completely honest, let Lynn Sanity run here from the sports books or on my end uh, because we're up fat units on the books. The prize picks need to be tightened up a bit, but we're dialed in. We're dialed in. Today's slate is so chalked because we have like seven MLB games during the day two at night we've got nba games that teams don't give a fuck about right now and then of course we got hockey which is always fucking cake so i'm going to try and get surgical for you guys um, but beyond just the plays i want to expand more in the morning app shows beyond just recaps and plays uh, so if you guys have any suggestions in the comments of shit you want to hear from me and see from me let me know in the comments uh, and also, I love the comments every day, guys. I appreciate the love and support, the OGs that are in here, listening every day, tuning in on their drive to works or whatever. You guys are goaded. I'm really glad you've enjoyed this uh, series so far, and I look forward to doing it throughout the summer as well. Uh, quick update, I'm doing a 24-hour stream on Twitch with crabs tomorrow. Uh, I promised chat if I smacked two prize picks entries last week and they both hit, and I pulled out 25K from prize picks, I would do a 24 hour stream. I prayed to the gambling gods above, locked in two entries, and all the coin came home. And now I'm doing a 24 hour fucking stream, dude. I low key hate them because they're literal brain rot and it causes me to lose my sleep schedule for like a week. But a promise is a promise and I'm fucking falling through. Uh, so 24 hour stream tomorrow, make sure to tap in and come sweat the masters with us, baseball, uh, NBA, you know we're gonna be all sweating everything, so come hang out with the kids. Uh, couple updates I wanted to give. If you guys aren't watching the surgical stream, dude, yesterday this guy who comes on in a scary mask every time, and he only comes on in once in a blue moon uh, when he really likes something. The last time he came on was like two weeks ago. He, he promised, he guaranteed Jordan five plus bases. He hit two fucking piss nukes, Yesterday we saw him come through again and he's in a Batman mask and he goes Cronenworth on the Padres four plus bases and Cronenworth that's just like not a guy I'm like rushing to the sports books to go fucking nuke for four plus bases and sure enough after 0-3 in his first three at bats Cronenworth gets up there and fucking piss nukes one to the Crone zone I can't believe it. That dude is cracked out. His name's DM. Nobody knows who he is. No one knows who he came from, where he came from or anything. He just comes in, dishes out a plus 500 and fucking never comes back for another two weeks. And he smacked with Cronenworth yesterday, uh, which was insane. And yesterday I got fucked, chat. I got absolutely hoed by a Vander Kane uh, hits. We made a surgical entry on the surgical stream. 
Uh, it had Cronenworth in there. It had JT Miller SOGs in there. And it had Jokic field goals attempts. And the last leg was goddamn Kane hits. Hits two dudes and bounces. Uh, so that's going to be the headline of my prize picks employee list today. Evander Kane, fuck you, dude. That one sucked. That really hurt. And Corey Seager, I feel like whenever I bet on Corey Seager, dude, he never comes fucking through. Uh, so those are my two prize picks employees from yesterday's slate. Corey Seager and fucking Evander Kane, dude. Uh, but let's go back to the Masters and talk about that real quick. I got zero idea what I'm doing, all right? I'm a very casual golf better and golf fan. Uh, I'm nuking Scotty Scheffler because rumor has it I kind of look like him. Uh, and he's a GOAT, and he respects coin. Um, and so I know he's plus 400, which is just like basically taking the Dodgers to win the World Series is what you're betting on with Scotty Scheffler. Uh, but I'm doing it because you know I love betting on the Dodgers. Gee whiz. You know I love betting on the Dodgers, and you know I love betting on Scotty Scheffler. So we're doing that. Uh, I sprinkle, I have a 10 unit whale on Scotty Scheffler. Let me not forget to say that. A 10 unit Mega Max, a Rackaroony, some might say, on Scotty to win, to pay out 5,000. Let's fucking go. Uh, I did not notice that Dave Portnoy has damn near a quarter million, if no, more than a quarter million on Scotty to win. Uh, I had no idea that he had that bet placed before I locked my shit in, sadly. Um, and there's a chance that his wife goes into labor. <laughs> That would shock everything, bro. And knowing my luck, that's exactly what's gonna happen. She's going into labor tomorrow, for sure, 100%. Uh, so shit's, shit's probably dead early. But uh, I'm going with 10 unit whale on Scotty Scheffler to win. Small sprinkle of three unit Johnson on uh, my absolute dog, Jordan Spieth. Funny story about Spieth. I was at the Pelicans game uh, two years ago and I'm filming a video outside the stadium and Jordan Spieth walks by and notices me. And he's like, Trent? And I'm like, holy fuck, is that Jordan Spieth calling me out? And he fucking asked me to take a picture with him so he could send it to his brother, who's a huge fan. And I was just like, bro, shouldn't I be the one asking you for a picture? Crazy story, it was awesome. Memory I'll always re remember. Uh, and for that reason, we're nuking him for three units to win the goddamn Masters. So Jordan Spieth, give me some good juju this weekend, please. And for one unit, Johnson, at plus 10,000, Sanjay Himothy to win the Masters. Uh, very, very minimal chance that actually fucking happens, but I wanted a long shot. I needed a plus 10,000, so I'm going with Sanjay Himi. W Yappuccinos, totally forgot to cheers the Yappuccinos, boys. Uh, but yeah, dude, I got no idea what the fuck I'm doing betting on the Masters, bro. But I do have a four-leg prize picks entry that I'm gonna be sweating. And I posted that on Twitter. You guys, uh, if you haven't seen it already, what the fuck are you doing? Uh, it's Scotty Scheffler, understrokes. Phil Mickelson, gambling man like all of us, understrokes. He ain't stroking it. <laughs> no, he is stroking it, but we're going understrokes. Ricky Fowler, we're fading Ricky Fowler. Did you see his kids running around the fucking sand pit before the Masters? Yeah, he ain't locked. He ain't locked. We're fading Ricky Fowler. And Sanjay Himothy, birdie matchup up against Adam Hadwin. That's my prize picks I'm gonna be sweating for round one. Uh, so tail that shit and ride with me because I'm gonna be bitching on the feed all fucking day. Uh, I do have a couple Thursday whales and some mail time for you. Uh, Cause I know you guys love mail time and I got some good ones. Uh, but yeah, today's slate's fucking shocked, all right? I have two NBA plays that are disgusting. Um, it's hard to bet on the NBA right now, especially with teams not giving an absolute shit as we get into the playoffs. But I'm going with the Knicks minus two and a half uh, on the road in Boston. I got no fucking sell job for you, man. I mean, why are the Knicks favored here? Is Tatum and Brown not going to play? Probably not. And so I wouldn't be shocked if the Knicks go up to minus six and a half once that news is ruled. Uh, but I'm going with the Knicks, all right? I needed an NBA play, and I'm going with that. And I'm also going with the Kings. We're lighting the beam tonight. Minus one and a half against the Pelicans. No Brandon Ingram. Hopefully, Saboner. Fox are in the lineup tonight for us because if they are this should be a, this should be an easy win uh, Give me the Kings bro. I got no fucking sell job. All right once we get into the playoffs I'll be way more surgical, but uh, we're two games away from the season being over and a lot of teams are just like checking out So GG's uh, give me the Orioles against the Red Sox in the only late game of the slate tonight uh, For no other reason other than the Red Sox are actually fucking 
poverty, dude. Uh, their defense, it's like almost impossible to go in a whole fucking inning without seeing them make an error. Uh, and so we're going with the Orioles, they're a wagon. And Jackson Holiday, I know I faded him yesterday, uh, but we're, we're riding with him today. Uh, and then I have two hockey bets, which if you're going to fade me, fade these two hockey plays because I suck at this shit. Leafs Devils over six and a half, Stars Jets under six and a half. And that Stars game, two great goalies, two teams that will be in the playoffs. It's going to be a playoff atmosphere. Uh, goals are going to be coming out of premium. And Leafs Devils, I swear, when these two teams play, it just goes over every fucking time. So we're going with those two totals on the ice. And those are my five plays. If you see this before the baseball slate starts, uh, which is very unlikely, I have a three-piece prize picks that I fucking nuked, and I love it. Matt Olson, Bobby Witt, and Corey Seager, all fantasy scorers. Corey Seager chalked everybody yesterday. He's going to be green today. Bobby Witt's been kind of bozoing the last couple of days, and I, I needed a nuke from Matt Olson yesterday, and that game got rained out, sadly, uh, but we're running it back with him today. So that three-piece in the MLB for the day games, I'm nuking that. And that is about it, folks. We got the PP's employees wrapped up. You know Portnoy's fucking slip ain't hitting, dude. There's no way he's hitting back-to-back -back fat Megalodons like he did with UConn. There's just no way. But I nuked it already, so GG's. All right, let's do a little mail time segment here. Got some good ones for you, man. I just go and screenshot them. I don't even know what they say, bro. This guy says, uh, Dre says, Count the juice, bro. You always recap your plays and you put all these emojis and shit, but you can do a little extra math and add the juice. Listen, bro, I don't, I ain't no fucking capper, okay? I'm not gonna pull out the calculator and fucking get 3.28 units. Like, do you guys really give a fuck? No. No, I would hope you don't really give that much of a fuck. If it means that much to you to add the juice to my fucking recaps, you need to go touch some grass, all right? We move. <laughs> You've ruined my night, not because of, I, wait, you've ruined my night, not your picks because I faded you, of course, but just by knowing how terrible you are at gambling. I feel so bad for you, man. Blaine Suter, dude, what? OJ Simpson just fucking died? Wow, breaking news on the show for the first time ever. I just got the fucking push notification. What the actual fuck, dude? Wow. Uh... R.I.P. We can say that, right? Not get canceled. He's, he's good, right? Yeah. R.I.P. Wow, that's crazy. Um, anyway, let's continue with my fucking ratchet DMs. Vladdy went yard and you said you'd show butthole on stream. <laughs> Shit, dude. I did say that and he did go yard. <laughs> so I might have to be flashing butthole later on stream. Fuck. I've seen you've been getting a lot of negative hate lately. How are you holding up? Hey, dude, Dr. Kenobi, I appreciate you, man. Thanks for checking in. I'm all good, brother, I promise. This guy says, you're getting too much hate, my pookie bear. You're the light of my life and keep shining down on my path to greatness. <laughs> keep up the good work. We love you. Thank you, cream cheese. Appreciate the love, bro. These are rare. And here comes one. Stop betting on the Dodgers, you fat piece of shit. <laughs> Again, the daytime Dodgers, they're always a donation, bro. I'm not mad at you, bro. I just want to send you a DM so I can fit in. Dude. <laughs> Listen, man, we can't be taking the midday Dodgers anymore. I know it's just not the same team. We got to learn and move on and be better. No, nah, he's right. He gets it. Everybody bitching about the daytime Dodgers. You should try and take the opposite of what do you think you're going to bet on. You would be up so much money. You absolute donkey piss rat shit gambler. Sadly, that's like the most normal DM I've ever gotten. <laughs> uh, oh, this is a good one. I know you are paid by the books and whatnot, but at this point you have to be losing more money than you're making, right? I'm worried once the social media hype dies down and you're not in PP's pockets anymore, that'll mean you're gonna start selling your feet picks to old men to fuel up the addiction and keep the units up. Not a bad plan B, my guy. Also, the most normal DM I've ever gotten. Uh, <laughs> this guy, genius idea, bro. I might have to take you up on this. Wipe the chalk out of your eyes and drain the moose shit out of your veins. 
<laughs> Clear the fog from your brain and start the fade pod already. What kind of middle management creative team do you have to not jump on this idea? I'll take my 200 for my efforts now. The fade god on the fade pod? Dude, CJ, you might, you might get hired, bro. That's a genius idea and I might have to steal that from you. Apple White says, yo, you're the fucking man. Keep, keep doing what you're doing. You're hilarious. I appreciate you, bro. Much love. Oh, this one's a moose. This one's absolute moose. This bet was placed before I saw your doe face come across my timeline that you were on the Dodgers. I knew I was fucked immediately. It's a $500 three-leg parlay on FanDuel. Guardians money line, Giants money line, Dodgers money line. Of course, the Dodgers sold. Sorry, bro. That's moose shit. Um, all right, we got a weird day today, chat. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that mail time. Hopefully, uh, we get filled with some more hate later this week. <laughs> uh, but I appreciate you tuning in. Let's keep the units up uh, going into Masters. We're, I'm seeing some dudes tee off right now. I can't wait to watch this shit. Uh, but let's stay locked and loaded, all right? Let's make some coin and muck some clam. My five plays for you. Knicks minus two and a half. Kings minus one and a half. Devils over. Jet stars under and the Orioles money line. Those are all my five plays today. I've got the, my prize picks round one or day one whale entry, that three man baseball daytime entry, uh, and my three masters winners. And that's what I'm giving you guys today. Make sure to tune in to the 24 hour stream this uh, on tomorrow. And I will see you guys on the timeline, making some coin, mucking some clam and bitching all day. Cheers to the Yappuccinos. Have a great Thursday. Much love. We'll be seeing.